Men no be smart in today. As a papa enter court today. Men a papa gentle like say as in as he takes down quietly. I no understand. I no say la media papa quiet like this. What's up? What's up, my people? Welcome to Luzero Media TV. We update the post as in the heart. Men no be smart in. You, know. you got to listen to what Kenneth Okonkwo said about today's court. No be smart thing happen for court today. Then he come the young say, I neck is hiding something. Then they hide something. Say they know I made them this close things publicly. You get, you get as they go now. So I want make una hear what thing he talk concerning today. No be smart thing, no. No be smart thing. One happen like this now. And he they talk and he was very very happy, as if uh, maybe they know we know already. You understand? With the way he talked, then not be small thing. I as in either sure people say something, say uh, obedient, then say hope day based on one thing, one thing, say hope day. So now I was I observe for your statement. Make on a watch, make on a see by yourself. Thank you. I am Kenneth Okungwa, the spokesperson. Or Labour Party Obidati Presidential Campaign Council, and one of the lawyers representing His Excellency Peter Obi and Labour Party in court for this petition. Right, so, um, processes have been updated. Your whole team about your. Oh well, you know, in issues like this, you go on incrementally. There were motions that were moved, but particularly the application that we are seeking for the live streaming of this petition was the one that stood out. And let me say that the issue of public hearing of our courts is a constitutional issue. Section 36 of Section three guarantees that courts should sit in public so there is nothing secret about courts if you go to kenya you will see that kenya's the live stream you go to united states even when a president of united states the former president was indicted the whole world saw it what are we hiding the one that is disturbing is that INEC as an umpire that has a great opportunity to clear its name from its battered image is opposing the public hearing of this petition, opposing that Nigerians should know why they declared a winner in the dead of the night. They are opposing these things as if there is something to hide. Why would an umpire oppose Nigerians hearing something publicly? So it's very disturbing. So the court has adjourned for ruling on that issue till Monday. It is a fresh development. I don't know if you're aware. Yes. In Kano State, mm -hmm. regarding your, the governor elect in the, um, Abia State. No, well. Do you have any reaction? <laughs> we were in court when we heard it. What do you expect? The reason people are developing cold feet to the justice delivery in our country is for such orders and rulings. But we have come this far. And there will be no retreat, there will be no surrender. You also saw how a court was disgraced in court today who came in purporting to represent somebody in a petition that has already commenced we are we are there on the 8th of may when this petition commenced and you just want to break in as they normally do breaking into people's properties without authorization the only thing that is regrettable is that at times they do it with some collusion with some members that ought to be delivering justice not delivering judgment whether the case we heard it that it's in Kan. Good. By the time it comes to Abuja, maybe where jurisdiction is, I think the people that have the jurisdiction 
will deliver better justice to that. But just know that it is ephemeral, temporal, and will soon pass away. Like the people that came to court today passed away disgracefully. As a matter of fact, the learned judges of the Court of Appeal told one unknown lawyer, you should have known better as a son that you shouldn't do this. So our legal system should have known better that they should not be removing people that come to power by the will of the Nigerian people through the courts. It's the Nigerian people that determine who will govern them, not the courts. So it's unfortunate we've come to this level in this country. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to Luzero Media TV. How the go the go now? What you now observe? For this content now, for this video now, we will now watch. What you now observe? Because this kind of a uh, court case, court case, you know the easy, you know the easy, you know the easy. But if you rule this case soon, make everything, make we know where we stand. Because for now, we don't know where we stand. We Nigerians, we the youth, we the people that have voted, we don't know where we are standing now. We don't know where we stand until court declares anybody the winner. Whether Atiko Abubakar or Pito Biu or Tinibu, anybody, anybody will go make this country better. God, just put the person there. Let me my prayer. Anybody will go make this country come back to normal again. God, please, I'm begging you, please put that person there. Thank you very much for watching my video. Thank you very much for following me. God bless you all.